How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this video we're going to be covering the brand new and easy to apply Radeon Super Resolution or RSR technology. In this video we're going to be going through how to set it up correctly for your system and the best settings to use for your use case, monitor resolution, the games in which you are playing and the GPU you have. If you're not familiar with what RSR or Radeon Super Resolution is, it is Radeon's answer to Nvidia Image Scaling or NIS which recently dropped for Nvidia users. For AMD Radeon this is utilizing the AMD Radeon Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FX. FSR technology to apply to a system-wide resolution so you're able to apply FSR to any game you're playing at any resolution level. As you can tweak this setting around and turn it on and off per game very quickly and easily and we're going to be covering everything to do with it in this video. As always if you do enjoy this video and are happy with your results please do remember to leave a like and a comment on the video as it does help out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. With all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the Activate Windows watermark, built a new PC or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. Jumping straight on into the guide, we first will need to ensure that our Radeon drivers are up to date. You can either do this by installing a clean driver or we can update our pre-existing driver with the Radeon software. If you're updating your driver, simply go to show more options and simply open up the AMD Radeon control panel. To update your GPU drivers, head over to the home section in the top left hand side, then on the right hand side, select check for updates. If there are any updates available to your drivers, make sure that you run through all of them until you get a green tick in the middle, ensuring that you are on the latest driver. But my personal recommendation, if you do have a little bit of extra time on your hands and you want the best performance possible, you could actually install a completely clean driver, running through the display driver uninstaller tool, removing all of the old drivers from your system, and following my guide how to de-bloat your AMD Radeon driver for the best installation to match your PC. If you are looking to install a clean version of the AMD driver though, you can find the link in the description down below or do a quick Google search. Just simply scroll down, select graphics, select the series of GPU in which you are using, then select the model, select the individual model, then select submit, then just simply click on the operating system in which you're running on, click on the plus menu, then select download and install that driver. You can then head back into the AMD Radeon control panel. We then need to set up the new setting. For this, we're going to navigate over to the gaming tab, head over to global graphics, but we'll then have the brand new option available to us. We're not going to be going through all of the AMD Radeon settings with inside of the control panel as we will be doing a separate video on that in the next coming weeks, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel if you are interested in all of the AMD settings. For this video though, we're going to be enabling the brand new Radeon Super Resolution or RSR technology. When you turn this on or off, this is going to make your screen flicker, that's completely normal, it may happen a few times, and it may take a few seconds to enable. This is briefly going to explain what's going to happen when this setting has been enabled, and it will explain what your native resolution is. For me on this monitor, that is 3840 by 2160, but your number could be different. I would then recommend using the learn more section just so you have a bit more of an understanding as to how this works. Then select OK, got it. With Radeon Super Resolution then completely set up and good to go, we can then minimize out of the AMD Radeon software and boot into any game we wish to test this on. Now before we go ahead and boot any game, there are a few games in which we may not want to use RSR on because there may be better options available to us. Any current or up and coming titles which support AMD's FSR technology with inside of the game, you should definitely use the FSR setting with inside of your game rather than forcing RSR. The reason for this is that RSR is going to upscale the entire output from the game, meaning your HUD elements, UI, radar, whereas if you have the FSR option available with inside of the game itself, it's only going to upscale the actual rendered content, bringing just a ever so slight better experience and potentially slightly better performance. But RSR is a fantastic option on any games which do not support FSR. For the purpose of this video and this demonstration, I'm choosing to use Overwatch for my example but practically any game on any of your libraries from Battle.net, Steam, Epic or whatever you choose to play should work. As long as there is a full screen option with inside of the game, RSR should work. I'm running on my 6700 XT at 4K max settings and we're getting about 108 to 110 frames per second. To ensure that we can use RSR inside of our game, simply head to your graphics menu with inside of the game and find your display mode or full screen mode options. They'll be in different places in different titles but you should have the options available to you. Ensure that you do have the full screen mode on your game set. And as you can see, I'm running at my monitor's native resolution, which is 4K currently. With that set up, we first of all need to press Alt and R on our keyboard at the same time. This will bring up the AMD overlay. This is where we can see the status of RSR to see if it's available and if we're using it or not. Seeing that I'm currently running the game at 4K and my monitor's 4K, we're not using RSR because we're not downscaling. So our upscale status found here in the bottom is inactive. If we press Alt and R again to close the overlay, head back to the in-game settings, 
and we can start lowering the resolution. Now the resolutions which are available to you, you can select any resolution below your monitor's native resolution. I could go all the way down to 1280 by 720 if I wanted to, and that is going to use RSR to upscale that. Going down to such a low resolution is going to impact my game visually, but this is just an example of how far you can push this depending on what level of performance you're looking for. So assuming that I'm natively running at 3840 by 2160, I now have this new option for 3072 by 728. So if I select this resolution, select apply, your screen may flicker once again, head back inside of your game. Press Alt and R on your keyboard this time, you should now see that your upscale status has now got a green check next to it showing that RSR is now active and running. It will then show you the resolution which you're rendering from and upscaling to. So heading back with inside of the game, using the first option underneath 4K, again at max settings, we're now able to achieve 135 frames per second, which is a near 20% performance boost just from going one setting down. My personal recommendation for those of you running on 4K monitors on most titles would actually be to run at 1440p. We can head back to our video settings in our game, scroll further down until we find 2560 by 1440 select apply, come back out, Press Alt and R on our keyboard just to make sure that the upscale status is now running. Head back inside of our title, and as you can now see, we're getting 175 frames per second. Some of you watching this video may be okay with going down even further than this. It really comes down to personal preference and how much performance you wish to obtain from your game. You will see better performance improvements from using RSR with inside of your titles if you have a higher GPU load. As you can see, we're using 95% of my GPU right now, so we've got a relatively heavy GPU load, meaning that RSR is going to give us phenomenal improvements the we go. But if you were playing a title which had incredibly high CPU usage, or was just CPU dependent, something like CSGO which uses very little GPU, you may not see that much of an improvement from using something like RSR with inside of that title. So now that we are running RSR on 1440p on a 4K panel, we're getting about 170 frames per second, up from our original 110. If we couple that by going inside of our in-game settings for any title, adjusting some of our video settings from the ultra presets down to a mixture of sort of high and medium, applying those settings alongside the RSR boost going back with inside of our game, we're now able to achieve up to 190 frames per second, whilst maintaining a fantastic level of visual fidelity with all of the eye candy enabled. RSR will still work if you do have any GPU overclocks and further optimizations applied on your PC. We've taken our game from 110 frames per second in this scene to 210 frames per second by enabling RSR, taking us down to 1440p from 4K, adjusting our in-game graphics preset from ultra to high, and this still has full compatibility with any GPU overclock you may be using. To demonstrate enabling RSR on a different title, we've now moved over to Rust, this time heading to our screen settings, where we can then find our resolution and our full screen modes. If your game supports exclusive full screen or exclusive mode, I would always choose exclusive mode over normal full screen, as this will give it the highest priority possible with inside of Windows. So as we can see, we're running at our monitor's native resolution currently with inside of Rust, selecting apply, heading inside of the game, and as you can see in the top right hand side, we're getting about 130 frames per second. If we press Alt and R, on our keyboard, head over to the gaming tab, scrolling down we can then see that our upscale status is currently inactive, heading back with inside of the game, going to screen, we can start by taking down our rendering resolution, starting off with this new option which is now available for us at 4K, but if you're playing at 1440p, go a few options down lower, there should be a new resolution available, or if you're at 1080p, there should also be more resolutions available to you, selecting apply, our screen's flickered, selecting alt and R just to double check that the upscale status has been set to green, which it is, which means we're running it, heading back with inside of the game, we're now able to achieve 163 frames per second, achieving an extra 30 frames per second with practically no visual loss whatsoever. Again, the more aggressive and lower the resolution you set, the more obvious it's going to be that you are running that lower resolution, but it will not look as bad as if you weren't using RSR. This has taken my 6700 XT from a 1440p high-end card to a high-end 4K capable graphics card across the board, even at higher refresh rates. I have a 4K 144Hz monitor, and with RSR now available, I'm able to achieve those frame rates in practically all games I play, or even higher. Admittedly, in some games you may want to take it down from the ultra preset, go down to high, or maybe even medium, but it just goes to show, however low end or high end your GPU is, this can offer incredible value, which is almost the equivalent of a brand new generation of GPU being installed to your system with just a simple software feature. And if you are interested in enabling technology like this on an NVIDIA graphics card, you can also check out the video on screen now, covering our NVIDIA image scaling or NIS video, which covers how to do this on an NVIDIA 
graphics card as that was added to Nvidia GPUs roughly three months ago. And there you guys have it. That is how to set up and use AMD RSR on any game. I'm sure in the future there will be support coming for older Radeon GPUs. It's a relatively silly decision keeping this just locked to the 5000 and 6000 series of AMD GPUs. We may even see some modded drivers in the future which will definitely be covered on the channel if those features become available on older GPUs. If you're looking to further optimize your PC or your individual game, consider checking out the two videos on screen now to further help you get the most out of your GPU and system without having to spend a penny.